Uh-huh. Hello, hello, hello. You are here with Dave Jose, and I want to show you some of the most excellent victories dealing with law that you may have ever seen in your life. Lately, there's been a lot of situations where government officials have been trying to force things on the people. When they can't force it on the people the way that they want to, they try to make partnerships with business owners in order to get business owners to force stuff on the people. On top of that, we can see situations like January 6th, where the government officials try to take part in different situations that would cause for people to be agitated and then try to run uh, with a scam where they punish people without due process of law as American citizens. Well, let's take a short look at what we've been able to do and the victory we've been able to show using the law of the land, the Bible, where it came from, and the constitutions of the states that no government official wanted to teach you. Here you go, guys. We have a picture from the affidavit mamas who work with us. And if you look in the middle of this picture, you can see where it says Arizona Article 2, Section 4, Due Process of Law, how your life, liberty, or property cannot be taken away from you. Next to that, to the right, you see where it talks about the right to privacy. It also tells that we have the right to control our own health affairs. We put this notice out on 20, November 22nd. We got 238 submissions. After that, you see where uh, Phoenix is backing down, which they were not in recent history, knowing that uh, the federal government was barred from doing this. They still wanted to move forward. And we look at the top and we see Arizona, Mark Bronovich, the attorney general says the vaccine mandates for federal workers actually go against the constitutional rights of the people. One thing that you will realize is that we did notice and let the government officials and the jobs, the employers know what was happening before anyone else using the law. What you'll find is a couple of weeks later, the city started to back down. The same thing happened with the legislature before when the affidavit mamas told them about the school boards breaking the law and going against the rights of the people. But let's look at more. Here we have uh, Representative Franklin in the federal Congress. If you look at the second paragraph, it says January 6, 2021 was a dark day in America's history. Now, it talks about violence, but this shows you what it is that this letter is dealing with. But notice the next paragraph, because we sent out notice. You can see the return receipt at the top. It says, regarding your specific concerns of the individual individuals involved, I'm aware that some defendants are being held in solitary conditions while awaiting trial. Our constitutional due process grants each citizen the right to speedy and public trial. As a member of the Committee on Oversight and Reform, I am looking into this matter. Our ranking member also queried the mayor of Washington, D.C. to get answers on due process for these individuals. I will continue to monitor the situation closely and will provide an update once I have received it. So, guys, what I want to ask you is how long has it been in history that the government officials are actually responding to what we show them is the law? Because that's what our people have done. Actually use the law to show them what is being done wrong. They respond to our specific issues with not some blanket letter, but literally dealing with specific issues and telling the people that they are going to provide updates as soon as they get them. Guys, this is a change and a new thing in American history. The people have learned the law. We have learned how to put our government officials on notice and send them affidavits, letting them know what their job requirements are. And they are responding and we are winning in major ways. Speaking of victories, let's hear from the people. BD Patriot says, Dave, you are making the difference. Then you go down and look at Rice Harris. 
Rice Harris says a big difference. I benefited from his knowledge and got a religious exemption from my hospital and help others get theirs too. That's why I'm just seeing this. So guys, I want you to realize that people are actually taking action. This person did not put in an exemption. They put in a notice and the hospital gives them exemption. This has happened with federal employees. This has happened with businesses and other entities around the country. We have knowledge and wisdom that we have been blessed with. And this is your chance to get in on the victory. We have a webinar coming up this weekend, December 11, 2021, 10 a.m. PST or 12 p.m. EST. The name of the webinar is Destroying Employer Mandates and Stopping CIA Child Rape. Guys, you realize and know that the CIA knew that their workers were raping children and did nothing about it. We are tired of this wickedness and evil, and we are going to create notices to deal with both of these issues to send out to our government servants and end this foolishness. Join us on the link below in the description is going to be on Telegram. If you link into this chat, it is the interest group and you can get instructions to be able to join the webinar. It is only $50. Your household can watch it and you can change the nation. Please join us.